Hey everybody, this is a quick introduction on how to use the NIOSH sound level meter. It's a free app for iOS and it was originally put together for workplace noise management, but it is available to you to do some pretty sophisticated decibel level readings right from your pocket. So right away, as soon as you launch the app, you can see that it's got this instantaneous level here, which means it's instantly doing a reading for you of what is at this point the A-weighted decibels. Now the A-weighted decibels are pretty much the standard reading that you will find in a lot of different uh, decibel meters. And it's attuned to human hearing and is, covers a lot of ground on the basic stuff that you're going to hear most of the time. However, it cuts off the higher and lower frequencies and a lot of people are really bothered by low frequency noise. That's lots of bass, like a subwoofer, it's um, garden equipment like lawnmowers and leaf blowers, it's motorcycle noise, uh, you know, your neighbor's stereo, that sort of thing. So what you want to do if you're in a situation like that, uh, where you're maybe hearing, you know, a lot of engine noise or something rumbling that's really bothering you, is interfering with your sleep, you'll want to switch this to the C-weighted decibels, which I'll show you in a minute. Meanwhile, even though this is giving us an instantaneous level reading, we can actually start recording and tracking some different data and save that data by running the app. And that is down here. Uh, you run the app here and that'll start recording some of your data. Uh, when you want to pause or stop, you would of course use what obviously looks like a pause button. When you want to download this information as a PDF or an HTML file to your device, you would use this button. And if you want to upload it later to save it somewhere or send it to someone, you would use this. And down here are the settings, which I'll show you in a minute. But first, let's run the app. And this, again, is A-weighted decibels. So here we go. And now you can see it's reset itself. And let's talk about what we're seeing here. So this was the instantaneous reading. This is probably moment by moment, the sound of my voice being recorded here, uh, the, the decibel level. Um, here we have the average A-weighted reading, which is the average of, of uh, the noise in the room. We have the maximum A-weighted decibel level. And we have the LC peak, which is actually reading the C-weighted decibel. But let's pause. Let's change this now to the C-weighted. I'll show you how to do that. So as you can see, we're reading this uh, as an A-weighted decibel right now, and we want to change that to C, which is what we do by just tapping here and changing this to C. And we can also change the time weighting, which is set by default to slow. We can set it to fast, which I think probably means that it is a faster response time to the noise in the room. There are other settings here. I just leave them at the default the threshold level, uh, the exchange rate. You can also choose to use an external microphone and plug it in. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm using the built-in microphone. And you can calibrate it. And again, that's for another lesson. So now let's go back. And we can, once again, we can run this app. We're getting an instantaneous feedback here of 69 dB C-weighted decibels. But we can run the app and start recording again. So here we go, there it's running, and we've got the LC peak is at 78.5 or 6, 79.5, and we're going to save this. And now let's save it to our device, and we can go ahead and send a PDF report to the place of our choice. So I'm going to say, put it in my Dropbox, which it's thinking about, and choose a folder. Um, let's just put it in the apps, and choose that, and save it. 
and we can go back again to our app and that is basically how you would save a report which is basically it's saving all this data that we've been recording here in real time and you can go back and reflect on these reports if you're trying to track noise levels over time and that in a nutshell is the free NIOSH N-I-O-S-H sound level meter have fun with it sure.